Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Michael and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect two or how to connect four Akai Fire units together to enhance the device's capabilities and improve your workflow. So let's get right into it. When connecting multiple devices, I'd recommend using a USB hub like this to stay really neat and organized. I've left a link to this one or a similar one in the description. There are many ways to use two fire units together. You can use two side by side to extend the number of steps in your pattern or you can use one in note mode and one in step mode, or you can use drum mode and step mode, so there's lots of possibilities. And as well as side by side to extend your steps, you could use two above and below to extend the number of channels you have or fit onto a more compact workstation. The first thing you have to do is go to the controller on the left or on the top left and press Alt and then press in the selection encoder until the screen says multi-device. When the screen says multi-device, this says slave device layout. This is the top left, so you want to make this the right hand side device. So this says right, you can scroll through bottom, bottom right or right, then press in the selection encoder. And we now have an extended pattern. So if I'm in pattern mode, you'll see that the cursor plays along through the entire pattern. And we can add and remove steps as we see fit. But as well as just using it for drums, we can select note mode on one of the devices. We can press Alt and use the selection encoder to navigate to a channel, in this case, Serum. And now we can actually play and use the drums at the same time. And remember that at any time you can mute and solo any of your channels. And like I showed in my fire tips, tricks and hidden features video, you can actually make one of them a visualizer display. So in this case, I'm gonna press Alt, I'm gonna rotate the filter dial and it's gonna turn into a spectrogram mode. And this will represent the frequencies of my song whilst I'm programming my beat. To set up two devices above and below, it's a similar procedure. So we start by holding Alt and pressing the selection encoder until multi-device mode is shown. We have to then select this device to be the bottom device. So scroll until it says bottom, then press the selection encoder. And what you'll notice when using the selection encoder is that it gives us access to eight channels at a time. And of course we can navigate to more steps using the grid buttons here. I've also just raised the top device so that the cable doesn't get in the way just to make this video look a little bit cleaner but you know they don't have to be right beside each other. What's great about using two of these above and below is that you only need to use the grid selection button to get to the other half of your pattern. You can actually access all your channels at the same time and you don't have to use the selection encoder to scroll so much. And while it's great for programming patterns you can also use the note mode and play along. and the possibilities don't stop there. Again, you can use drum mode or turn it into a spectrum. And currently the maximum number of devices you can set up is four. It might be worth getting some right angle USB ports if you're doing this so that there's not so much of a gap between the units, but the procedure is pretty much the same to set it up. So select the top left unit, press Alt, push in the selection encoder until multi-device is displayed. Then you want this to be right, you want this to be bottom right, and this to be bottom and then you just select them one at a time, and here we have it. So now I can scroll through the patterns, extend the grid, and it all works fluidly together. You can use the transport controls on any of the devices, so let's just press play and see what's happening. And we can also repitch and change the velocity of any of the steps on any of the devices. If I was going to use this for actual beat making, I'd probably keep the top two as a step sequencer. And then I'd probably have this one here as a keyboard in note mode, this one here as the FPC. So you can either do your finger drumming 
you can play your chords and melodies and you still have the step sequence. If you want, you can also turn one of them into a spectrogram mode and then you've got a visual display whilst you're producing. If you want to, you could actually turn all of them into a different spectrogram mode. So you can have spectrogram, peaks left, spectrogram, peaks right, 